So how does leadership impact a company's culture? That's a very interesting question. In fact, in one of the workshops that we do, we give laminated pieces to people. And the pieces are leadership, climate, culture, employees, and organizational performance. So five pieces are given to them. And we then put, ask them to put them in the right order. I dare say, very, very rarely somebody really puts it in the right order. The right order is leaders. Leadership is right up here on the top. Yeah. That drives the climate of the organization. Climate is what? What people feel about that organization. Okay. Right? So the leaders that drive the climate. Immediate feeling. That immediate feeling. Okay. Right? As, they, as you enter the environment of the organization. Yeah. Right? So as you enter the organization, you may feel a resonant or a non-resonant feeling. Okay. So you have to create a resonant climate where people resonate with it. Right. Now when that happens... Then the employees get excited about what they do. And then comes the employees. Once the employees are excited about what they do, they then start demonstrating behaviors. And what is culture? Culture is nothing but the behaviors that people demonstrate in an organization right. and what they are appreciated for. So employees, because they feel good about the culture, start behaving in a manner that creates a positive culture within the organization and this culture then drives organizational performance. So there is no direct link between leadership but and culture. But there is an indirect but a very important link. It's an interesting fact. I've never heard of this. Yes. Although. yes. So this is a yeah. beautiful way of actually understanding what culture is all about and how leaders indirectly drive culture. Because culture, unfortunately, also people don't understand. It's just a set of behaviors. Like you go to a Bengali culture, what does it say? It's a set of behaviors that people demonstrate how they greet each other. How do they celebrate? Yeah. Right? How do they kind of look after each other? Yeah. So that kind, that's a culture. And that is what we need to build. And what we say is, don't build a high performance culture. Yeah. Build a performance enhancing culture. Because a high performance culture gives you an input of it being the end. Right? But a performance enhancing culture, there is never an end. So wherever you are, performance enhance it. Performance enhance it. So it is almost like always you are trying to get better than what you are. True. So that's how leadership really drives culture. So there's a lot of talk about culture. Yeah. But when we actually ask, it's very difficult to define culture. Yes. And like you rightly said that, uh, like supposing uh, a Bengali family, right. It will have its own culture or maybe for that matter, in our own families, right. we have different, Cultures. we follow different things. Absolutely. Okay, if right. a guest is coming, how are we going to uh, welcome him? You know, those kind of little, little things, they actually form the culture. Absolutely. So it's a little set of behaviors that people, while they interact with each yeah. other, how do they really interact? Absolutely. And what happens is what you appreciate is what you get. True. So if the leader starts appreciating a behavior. Yeah. More people around them are likely to start following. Oh. We normally try to look for bad behavior, mm -hmm. but that doesn't really work. Yeah. If we start looking for good behavior right. and start openly appreciating it, yeah. there are more chances of people for, like, wanting to follow it. True. So that's another way of looking at culture. Absolutely. That's a very nice point to your face.